Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Chisha Zed. I'm back, man, with another video for you. You know how it goes. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Today, we're going to be talking about dating profiles. And let's be honest, man, that dating profile can either make or break that perspective uh chick that you're looking at right she looks good but depending on what she says and how she says it you yeah but some of you are thirsty out there man i'm just gonna be honest some of you don't care you're swiping right consistently i know i know i see you right swiping right <laughs> until, until the app blocks you and thinks you're some type of a bot or something like that <laughs> But um, yeah, guys, dating apps are a weird thing, but people don't really know, man. It's all about the photos, the photos, right? I don't put anything in my description. Photos. If the photos are hard, then she's going to message you. She's going to respond back. And honestly, let's be honest here, guys. As men, we are discriminated against on these dating platforms. Let's be honest. Going to a dating platform is like going to Vegas where all the women get in for free and it's all half off if you're a woman and all their men are expected to pay full price while all these women get on these dating apps for free. I'm telling you, the experience being a man on a dating profile is a lot different from being a woman, right? Women don't have to pay for exposure, right? They have that little like boost thing on there. You think women are paying for that boost? As soon as she gets on that platform, guaranteed within two days, she has received over 50 messages, sometimes even more, depending if she's bad, right? If she looks okay, she's probably getting a lot of messages too, right? If she's a solid uh, four or two, she's still getting the thirsty dudes out there hitting on her, man. It's a whole different experience between men and women, which leads me into our topic of today. Today, we're going to be looking at some of the wildest female dating profiles a single man single childless man, single childless man with a great future can come across. So yeah, guys, that's the mindset I want you to put yourself in, right? Regardless of your situation, imagine yourself, even if you, you know, have got a child or anything, right? I'm sure these will blow your mind too. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So our first prospect here is 35 years old. I'm going to read her profile. It goes, hello, my name is Aliza. I'm 34, a single mother of eight. Yeah, that says eight. Yes, eight beautiful children, age ranging from 17 to six. God damn. <laughs> Patiently waiting on a real man. Why? Why do you why do you ladies like to use that real man thing, man? That's a turn off. Real man. That real man thing is a turn off. Stop putting real man in your dating profiles, right? But I'll be honest, she lost me at eight kids, man. That's freaking crazy. Um, okay, real man, who out here can catch my eye? She's got the 100 emoji. Let's see what we can create with building something. Wow, she's laughing because she knows this is a joke, right? But she put the heart next to it. Looking for love. Golly, man. Um... Guys, what is this? Swipe left or right? I think you already know what's <laughs> huge X right there. Man, eight kids. I'll be honest, that eight kids kind of is wild, right? Especially if you're putting yourself in the perspective of a man who doesn't have as much kids as you, or even has one kid. Any man who has even one or two kids sees eight kids right there and is taken aback from that, right? Forget being childless. For any man, these would be some crazy red flags. Like, why do you have eight kids? Where are their fathers? Anyways, um, we're going to move on. Next. Okay, so our next prospect is Stephanie. She's 28. Some of these guys I don't have the picture for. Um, it says, I am 27. I am a mom to six children who currently don't stay with me. Red flag right there, gentlemen. Um, she's not allowed to see or be anywhere near her kids. Um, I'm looking for a guy that I can trust, has children. Okay, so you want more kids on top of those six? Huh? Would like children. Oh, and you want him to want more kids. Maybe your kids, or do you want to make more kids? This is getting crazier and crazier as we go on. Has a car. Eh, understandable. 
lives in extra your jibla i'm not going to read that i'm looking for a long term relationship marriage she says i'm looking for a long term relationship marriage guy has to be age 18 or over <laughs> the fact that she had to specify that the guy has to be 18 or older makes me really question a lot more than what's going through my mind right now anyways here we go so the guy has to be 18 or older and accept the fact that i am currently pregnant by my ex I don't even know if I can read the rest of that, man. All right, so that was Stephanie. That was a crazy one. Major red flags. Uh, can't see her six kids. Um, she wants more kids. Wants a guy with kids. This, she has a problem. She has a real problem here. She's looking for a long-term relationship. Okay, cool. Um, preg currently pregnant with my ex. So you, you have a seventh child that's coming on the way. It's a no for me, dog. All right, guys, so this is more like a meme, but it's based off, this is a real dating app. Uh, the top says, who's going to man up and wife this dime piece? This prospect's name is Karen. Uh, she's 29, Karen. That's uh, first red flag right there. Pregnant with my fifth boy. Just want to see who can match my vibe. Yeah, girls that use uh, terminologies like vibe and um, will get on a dating app pregnant immediate red flag immediate red flag this is crazy man this is crazy no it's a no it's a no karen and good luck with that pregnancy man next okay so our next prospect is murray she's 30 years old and it reads i'm pretty easy going ambitious love a good laugh and i'm loyal to those who are loyal to me okay it's not so bad so far man i'm an intellect and hate dull conversations i, I understand it i get it I'm a mother of five. Why is that a bad thing? Why is it such a bad thing to date single mothers? Listen to me. Like I said earlier, right? And this is to people who are wondering, because I know most of you guys know, especially if you follow this channel. If we're going to be honest here, a single man, or even if he does have a kid or so, isn't looking to find another woman who has five kids right i guess if she matches the amount of kids you have a man might be open to that but let's be honest here if we're talking about single men who are childless also they're not trying to wife up a woman with kids right even if some do that is not the ideal situation those are points that are lost right you lose points for that shit. that's the truth and no one should have to accept your kids just because they're your kids and you love them a man has to realize that if he accepts your kids, he's going to come in last in your priority list. Stepdads are very underappreciated and usually don't get the thanks and awareness to the hard work that they put in. And if you're wondering, how do I thank the man who's stepped up? Well, first off, get on your knees. We'll talk about that later, man. That should be every day. You know what I mean? Getting back to this, I'm a mother of five and my children come first. Exactly what I was talking about. I didn't even read the rest of this and there he goes. My children come first and I just want to travel and make memories. Where are the good guys? Well, the good guys, Murray, were there before you had those five kids. They were the guys who you were turning down. Those were the good guys, right? The, the guys you chose are the guys that left you um, a single mother. All right, guys, this is our final one. And so far, we haven't found anything that I would even touch with a 10-foot pole, to be honest, just based on their situation alone. Because I really am not really showing you guys what these people look like, right? Chrissy says, 39. I'm a true Christian woman. All right. God is good. I'm reborn. Uh-oh. If you're here to smash, press the X and keep it pushing. I'm practicing abstinence. <laughs> Oh, man. And we'll be this way until you marry me? Gosh. Let me see. Don't let her have kids. I'm a mother first. Teenager. Okay, so listen. You don't get to practice abstinence for the guy who's going to literally do the hardest job that you've ever asked a man to do. Be a father to your child. Right? You're going to make him wait for it while you make the other guy get it for free. 
You're gonna treat the other guy better than you're treating the man who's willing to do more for you. Ladies really need to stop doing this shit right here. Abstinent, please, let's be honest. We know you are fucking. The truth is the truth, man. These women, most of them, who say that they're abstinent, they're not there to smash, nah, they're not there to smash the betas. They're not there to smash the simps. They're not there to smash niggas who don't have game. That's who they're not there to smash. But if she runs into a dude who she thinks is um, top tier or she thinks is high value in her eyes, right? How she views as the alpha, regardless of what you think. If he's the type for her, she's dropping them panties. Fast, not slow. Fast, not slow. And that's the truth. Let's get back to this. She goes on to say, I'm outgoing. I can take care of myself and I would love a God-fearing man. That's what I'm assuming there. Yeah, guys. Um, one thing that I picked up off the bat immediately is that all these women with like multiple kids who are finally ready to settle down, you know, it's post-wall um, clarity. And post-wall clarity, man, is after a woman hits that wall and now she sees 2020 vision, right? Now she finally looks back and sees like all the time she wasted, all the time she wasted partying, all the time she wasted turning down the good guy and pick the fun guy, right? Because he's the one that's busting those cheeks and putting seeds inside of you that he's not going to take care of. Let's just keep it real. Those are the guys who she doesn't want to stay with. Why doesn't she want to go back to her baby daddy? Well, because he probably, one, doesn't want her to begin with. And why isn't she in a better situation? Because she picked the wrong man to have kids with. And there's no excuses. Too many options to not have kids. The kids, man, the kids are... A deal breaker i mean apart from all that i'm sure there's guys out there that have worked with a lot of these girls if they did not have kids let's be honest there are a lot but even a simp even though there will always be one even a simp will think twice when it comes to the kid what more a man who has something going for himself a good future right and takes his life seriously he's not going to take on another man's legacy there's a lot of this going on on the dating apps a lot of women who expect men to um, take care of their children and just wife them up. And at the end of the day, I'm like, good luck. But men, be careful. Don't fall for a story, especially if she's pregnant, man, while she's on the dating app. I mean, how many red flags do you need? But as always, I know that there's a simp out there, man, who's going to one day decide to be with that woman. And you know what? If he's willing to do that, then good for them. You know, guys don't want you when you're used up. Guys don't want you when you now are desperate, right? When you have three or four or five kids and you're looking for somebody to build with you who you consider a real man, who's really just a sucker man and somebody who's going to fall for a bad deal. Let's be honest. No man who has anything going for himself would wife a woman up with eight kids and problems. Let's just keep it real. That's just the truth. Most men are going to look at that and it's going to be a deterrent. But yeah, man, um, be wise out here and look for women who, because this is the thing, here's the truth. All women are going to have their fun time, right? But look for women who eventually understood that they can't spend a decade partying, riding the CC, out here doing God knows what, and eventually circumstances force them to slow down. No, there are women out here who eventually figure out like, hey, I can't party all the way till I'm 30. Let me chill at like 23 or 25 and let me start really thinking about my life and actually get myself together. And as men, you know, we can't be wasting time looking for these women at all. Focus on yourself. Focus on you. That requires hard work. That requires sacrifice. Adopting that alpha mentality, right? Check out the alpha mentality t-shirts down below. And the truth is, man, most women on dating profiles, like I said, are just trying to get laid. Um, men too are just trying to get laid. Few people are taking it seriously. My best advice is focus on yourself, focus on your future. As a man, rise within the ranks. And you know, people don't like this message. Some people don't like this message. A lot of people appreciate it, but focus on yourself, man. Surround yourself with positive people who care about you. You know, over here, man, it's all about peace, positivity, self-awareness, motivation. Keep that alpha mentality, be intentional about your life. And don't forget, there are male versions of these women as well, right? Don't be one of them. 
Hey guys, my name is Shisha Zed. If you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do, man. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed and have been watching my channel. Also, let me know what you thought of the content, comment down below. As you know, I stay in the mix, man. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.